Okay, so now that you've created all your animations, what we're going to do is export them. I haven't created all of them. You should have created all the ones I haven't covered. Pretty straightforward what they are. Um, just go into your scenes folder, into your SMG folder, and then add a new one and name it SMDs. And here is where your animations will go. You want to save as type, source SMD. Just name it. Whatever the animation is, or whatever. And export it as a sequence SMD. There should be no errors. Click OK. I'm going to pause here and do the rest so I can keep this video in the right time. Okay, once you've exported all your animations, open up your ref file and export it and call it, I believe it is, v underscore smg underscore sniper and just save that as a reference smd. There's also another one co just called ref. Save it as ref as a sequence. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's all the work that needs to be done in Max if you're happy with it. There'll probably be some changes you should make. Just save up and close Max down. Remember this re export folder you made? Uh, that would help if my computer wasn't lagging. Um, go into your 3ds Max, Scenes, SMG, and then back over to your SMDs that you created. Drag them into your re export folder. and hit yes to all. Delete the v underscore smg underscore sniper dot dmx. And then your one, v underscore smg underscore sniper, rename that to have dot dmx on the end. Okay, now you've got this file here. It's a QC file. Open it up. When it loads, there we go. It all probably looks a little confusing. Make sure everything matches up. CD is the folder that it's currently in. So it should match this here. If it doesn't change it, save it. Don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, here is where you will have your materials. It says here, model uses materials, models player, sniper. So just copy that, paste it in there. I believe you just make a second one for the SMG. Paste that there. Um. This here, surface prop, that is, that tells it what sounds to play when it collides with things. Um, since the SMG is metal, just metal 
but it doesn't really matter because this is only the view model. Here it says event 5004 1 weapon draw. This is where you tell it when to play sounds. Clip in, clip out, change these to your animation times. Save it. I think that's all we need for here. So just close that. Go into your Steam folder. Steam apps. Source SDK. Bin. EP1. Bin. And then your GUI Studio MDL. If you haven't already set it up, you probably should do that. I don't remember how, but it's not too difficult. Set it to orange box. Game is Team Fortress 2. File, load QC file. Then navigate to your SM Sniper SMG folder. Re-export. And just press open on that MDLD compiler file. And then what you do press compile. Here's where the fun begins. After a few seconds of lag, maybe a minute, something should happen. And it should be impressive. Except I believe I forgot an animation, so it might be a bit strange. Okay, everything looks good there, there's no errors. Close that down, minimize everything, go to Steam. Now you can do one of two things. You can look at your model in game, or if you don't want to wait for it in game, open the source SDK. seven minutes, I'll have to wrap this up in a second. Okay, once that's open, go to the model viewer. You might have to download it if you haven't opened it before. Can't remember. This will again take a second to load. If you haven't updated all your files, it will crash, and you need to update all of your games and, well, games that you'll be using like Team Fortress 2 and the Source SDK. Anyway, go to File, Load Model, scroll down to Weapons, open Weapons, go to V Models, and then look for V underscore SMG underscore Sniper dot MDL. Press Open, and look at that, there's our gun. I haven't positioned it very well, so it looks kind of nasty but that's okay. All the textures are working. You can look at all your animations if you go to the Sequence tab and change these. There's our horrible shoot animation. My horrible shoot animation, actually. I'll obviously need to move in the animations the root bone to be over to the right more. But yes, I think that about concludes the tutorial. It's pretty much done. If you've got smoothing issues like this, such as I do, um, just go into 3ds Max, add a smooth modifier, set it to 2, and then just export it again. It's in the um, v underscore smg underscore sniper dot dmx.